country music singers have always been a real close family. But lately some of my kin folks have disowned a few and others and me. I guess it's because I kind of changed my direction. Lord, I guess I went and broke their family tradition. They get on me, want to know, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out the songs that you wrote? Over and over, everybody made my prediction. So if I get stoned, just carrying on an old family tradition. I am very proud of my daddy's name. Although his kind of music and mine ain't exactly the same. Stop and think it over. Put yourself in my position. If I get stoned, sing all night long. It's a family tradition. So don't ask me, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out the songs that you wrote? If I'm down in a honky tonk, some old slicks trying to give me friction. I say, leave me alone, I'm singing all night long. It's a family tradition. Lordy, I have loved some ladies, and I have loved Jim Bean. And they both tried to kill me in 1973. When that doctor asked me, son, how did you get in this condition? I said, hey, sawbones, just carrying on an old family tradition. So don't ask me, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out the songs that you wrote? Stop and think it over. Try and put yourself in my unique position. If I get stoned, sing all night long. It's a family tradition. Hank Williams Jr. Hank Williams Jr. His father was great too. Hank Williams Sr. Anyhow, Hank Williams Sr. drank himself to death on whiskey, rum, and beer. True story. He was a chronic alcoholic. Bad one. Subscribe to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel, shall you? Watch the 11,200 videos of Dennis Ramsey and subscribe. Always give me a thumbs up on my videos. And even if you don't like them, still give me a thumbs up. And subscribe and share. This summer was a bad summer for Dennis Ramsey. I'll be the first to admit to it. I tried to sell the paintings in the early spring, and everything went bad after a month and a half. So <clears throat> I was only coming out once in a while trying to sell the folk art. The whole summer, I became depressed and stayed in the house. 
That's because the coronavirus nineteen people weren't coming around like they used to. In the summer time I'd sell anywhere from one hundred paintings to five hundred on a good summer. This summer I sold three, and it was because of the coronavirus nineteen. But anyhow, this summer Dennis Ramsey is very depressed and very angry, very bitter because of the coronavirus nineteen. Mad at how it's fucked everybody's schedule up and ruined everybody's lives. The coronavirus nineteen, that is. Anyhow, hopefully, I'm hoping next year will be better. In 2021, I'm gonna mark down 2020 as a bad year for Dennis Ramsey, and realize that it affected everybody's life in a bad way. The coronavirus nineteen. Anyhow, life goes on. I know what you're saying. Life still goes on. The kids go back to school tomorrow. And they gotta wear a face mask and stay about six feet apart. I guess. It's all been told. That's what everybody's telling me. Anyhow, most of the information I get about life is people always tell me a story about something or what's current. That's how I get all my news from other people. They tell me current news from day to day. Any has subscribed to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel. Thank you very much. And give me a thumbs up on my film, shall you? Now, when I was a kid, I didn't like going to school. Didn't like it. Didn't like it one bit. So I used to skip school. Then after you skip school so many times, you'll end up reform school. Yeah, that's true. It was called truancy. If you didn't go to school, they put you in reform school. Yes, and you won't like reform school. Trust me, I've been there. It's a bad place. Bad place. You're in with people that would kill you. Go right to sleep and think nothing of it. They think nothing of it. You got people in there have no conscience whatsoever. People put a knife in your back quicker than you could blink. You had ruthless people in reform school. Bad ones. Bad ones. Yeah. You go to sleep at night, and you'd always have to keep one eye open. We lived in dorms. You know what dorms are, don't you? That's where you get six to eight people living in a dorm. Sometimes during the night they would beat different people up. If you told on anybody or snitched on anybody, you're going to get a severe bad beating. And the ones that would inflict it are six or seven of the other reform school boys. What they used to do, they'd throw a blanket over you and beat you with pool balls. So we had pool tables, we had ping pong tables. They take a, a pool bottle, a pool、uh, pardon me ball, put it in a sock, and they would wail away on you. But they throw a blanket over you, then beat you with pool balls. They take the ball and put it in a sock. And they're hard as a rock if you ever played pool. The balls are like little round balls, and they're very hard, made of ceramics or whatever. They put them in a sock and throw the blanket over you. And six or seven boys would beat on you with the pool ball in the sock if you told on anybody or snitched on anybody. So when you're in an institution, you got to keep your mouth shut. Your mouth has to stay shut if you want to survive. Yes, there was people raped in there and almost beat to death. I've seen it. The best way to get along in an institution is keep your mouth shut. Silence, you'll survive. Piece of advice from Dennis Ramsey, who's been there, done it, seen it, knows it. Please subscribe to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel. Y'all take care and have a fine day. Peace out, folks. Peace out.